guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a what's in my bag video for my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. And I've been carrying this bag for about a month and a half now and I've, I've honestly been carrying it almost every single day. So I think I can finally kind of give it a really good review and actually show you how I carry it and what I really have on it on a daily basis. So I am gonna show you all the SLGs that I usually carry in it and then I also have some other ones that I'll show you just for reference in case those are the kinds that you would rather carry in it. And then I'm also gonna show you some modeling shots with this bag, although I, I know I already did that in another video, but I am just gonna kind of show you the different ways you can wear it. And then finally, I am gonna give you just a quick update on the patina because I did do the Apple Guard spray and I want to quickly talk Talk about that. But if you happen to be new here, then I would love for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so that you're notified for my future videos. I do put out two to three videos every single week and I would love to have you back. If you end up liking this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Okay, so let's just jump right into this bag. Let me just start off by saying, I, like I said before, I have been carrying this nonstop since I first got it. So first I'm going to start with the update on the patina. I did spray the Vachetta with Apple Guard spray and I do have a full video on that showing the whole process, the steps that I did and everything. So if you're interested in that, check it out down below. I'll have it linked down below. But I sprayed it pretty much a couple days after I first got this bag, but I didn't upload that video for about a week and a half or so. So this has been sprayed for at least a month or more, and I think it looks perfect. It still looks extremely light. I really, really highly recommend, at least so far, that spray. Now let me tell you a quick story. I was in the grocery store about a week ago and I was just getting some groceries. I went to get lettuce. And you know how in the grocery store around the produce section, there are those sprays that sometimes spray the produce just to keep them moist, I guess? Well, I was just grabbing some lettuce and all of a sudden the sprays kicked on and I'm not even joking, This I was wearing this crossbody, not thinking anything of it, the sprays kicked on and sprayed my bag. Now, at first I didn't freak out because I immediately knew, I was like, okay, I protected my bag, I think it's fine, but there were definitely, like water got on this and it totally just beat it up and I kind of just like wiped it off and it looked like it hadn't been touched at all. And then obviously I waited a little while, I kept looking at it and it, there's no marks on it whatsoever. So I definitely think the Apple Guard works because if I hadn't sprayed this bag, and I was being very, very careful with the bag, but you know, this I was just getting, I was getting lettuce, and you know, this got wet. It, it was, wasn't even like I was wearing it on a day that it was raining. But anyway, I'm very thankful that I did spray this bag because that did happen, and it was protected. So again, I definitely recommend that. It's your choice. A lot of people don't want to do it, and that's totally fine too. But for me, at least, I am happy that I did it. Okay, so I'm just gonna get right into what I'm carrying currently in this bag, and like I said, then I will get into what other options for you guys. Maybe like for instance, I have. A pair of sunglasses here. I never carry sunglasses. Um, I, these are actually my husband's Ray-Bans, but I am going to use them to kind of show you what can fit inside. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and open the bag here, and I will show you everything that I always have inside with me. So I'm going to first start with the, hmm, what should I start with? I think I'll just start with my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. I always have that with me, obviously. And then I will pull out my Louis Vuitton agenda. I love carrying this with me just because for some reason I think of a lot of things on the go. I think when I'm at home, if I think of something, I'll just go do it. But if I'm out and about, I obviously can't just go do what I'm thinking about. So I love being able to write everything down and having this with me at all times. So this is the PM version, which is the smallest agenda. So I love this because it really does fit in the majority of my bags. Next, I have my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. And this is a recent purchase for me and I absolutely love it. I think it is the perfect size. I'll show you quickly what I have in it since this is a what's in my bag. I did just recently show what's inside of this in my handbag essentials video which I posted about two weeks ago. So if you guys just wanna skip over this part, I totally understand. But I really loved that video because I really showed exactly what I think are handbag essentials and I did feature my favorite SLGs. But regardless, this is the mini pochette and I did recently obtain this. And I always carry my Naked Basics eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna go through this quickly because I have already talked about this. My Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss, which is my favorite, favorite lip gloss. And then I have my Carmex um, Chapstick, which is awesome. Then I have, oh, I have to include this. This is my Sigma eyeshadow brush. It's just like a mini travel version, and that is for my Naked Basics eyeshadow palette. For some reason, I like touching up my eyeshadow just because I can't stand creases in eyeshadow, and not that it happens that much, but I just like to be able to kind of like fix that in the bathroom, I guess. Next, I have my Chanel 
mini little travel size mascara. I love Chanel mascara. For the most part, I really like mascaras to be drugstore, but when I tried out the Chanel version of their mascara, I was so blown away, and so now I'm all about the Chanel mascara, but this is just like the travel mini size version, so I love carrying this with me because no matter what, I feel like my lashes, like after like five or six hours, they still look pretty good, but they do start to kind of get a little bit weighed down. So if I just kind of like touch them up a little bit, then they spruce right back up and they're, they're much better. Next we have my favorite liquid lipstick, which is the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow. And I love this, it's just a neutral. I've talked about it like so many times on my channel, I don't want to beat a dead horse. But anyway, this is always with me. And then we've got some definite necessities of my floss, which is, pretty much essential at all times. And then we have hair ties because I like putting my hair up random times. And then finally, my earbuds. I have these with me at all times as well, especially when I'm on my way to work. When, like I ride a van to work, I actually don't drive, I catch a van to work. And I love being able to put these on and listen to music or, you know, do some, work or whatever on my laptop sometimes. So anyway, yeah, I love having these with me. Okay, so let me just zip that up. Moving on, now this is what I think is the most interesting. I actually always carry my full size wallet, which is my Louis Vuitton Clements wallet. I think I got a comment a while back asking if this fit in here, and then I think the comment got lost in, I couldn't remember which video it was in, like I couldn't find the comment, and I'm so sorry to whoever asked me if this fit in here and it definitely fits in with ease. So it's just amazing because I, you know, I carry this to work every day in my work bag. I have a big tote work bag and I always have this with me. But then um, when I get home from work and I'm going wherever I'm going or on the weekends, I don't have to switch out to a compact size wallet if I want, don't want to. And you know, this is crossbody and most crossbodies you have to, you usually always have to carry a compact wallet. So this is amazing. I don't have to switch it out. I can literally fit this right inside. It, it fits the best, I think, in the back pocket. It slides right down in. And as you can see, it fits perfectly in there. And there's a lot of room to spare. I fit things on top of that too. Like my agenda goes right back on top, which I'll just show you really quickly everything, how I fit it back inside. So here's my wallet. I just put the agenda right there, it fits perfectly. Then I have my mini pochette and I put that right here and I kind of do that vertically actually and that's just so that this fits better inside so I just slip that right here. And then here's sunglasses if I don't wear them because I don't know why, I just have never liked sunglasses. But if I wanted to, I could just put them right here and they would fit perfectly. And there is a whole another flap back here and that would be for a little something thinner, like maybe an envelope or I don't even know, just something else you could definitely fit. And you could definitely fit some lip gloss, like here, here's a lip gloss, I forgot to put it back in my pochette, but if you had something else, you could fit that right in here. There's seriously so much more room in this bag and it closes so easily. It just carries a lot. All right, so let me just close it up. See, you just push it down snap it in and it literally, it's not bunched. It doesn't look like it's too big. It's not pulling anywhere. It carries so much. Oh, and cell phone. I forgot to mention my cell phone. I forgot I actually have it back here. I always keep my cell phone back here. So don't think that, you know, there's not gonna be room for your cell phone. It easily slips in here. That is an iPhone 7, but it also fits an iPhone 7 Plus, which is my husband's because I have carried it back here and it fits perfectly as well. So it's it's really a nice spot back here because I feel like in a lot of other bags, you obviously put them all in the main compartment, and then when you're looking for your cell phone, you can have to dig around everything to find your cell phone, because that's usually what most people are grabbing the most. But for this, I can always know exactly where it is. I'll usually be wearing this crossbody, and I just literally open it, boom, I have it. Like it is, it's just really, really accessible. Okay, so now I'm just gonna show you a few other things you can carry inside of it, just other options, I guess. So let me just pull everything out of here. Okay, so here the bag is completely empty. So I have my, I'm always gonna have this with me, period. So I'm just gonna throw that in here because I'm just not changing that. So instead of my full size Clements wallet, I do have my compact wallet. It is the Louis Vuitton Multi Carts, which I absolutely love. I am, shocker, thinking about selling this. I know, it's crazy. I did a whole video on this being the best SLG and I absolutely love it. I, there's literally, it's in pristine condition. However, I keep finding myself using my full size wallet 
like most of the time and this I'm not grabbing for this as much as I used to and I also have my eye on a Chanel piece it's very similar to this so I don't know like I could just have both I guess but part of me does think I kind of want to sell this and and then maybe I would feel better about getting the Chanel I don't know I don't really know I'm getting sidetracked anyway this is the compact wallet so you could switch out to this to provide more room in here so I'm going to throw this in here Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch and it is in the PM size and this holds all of my makeup not all of my makeup not all of my makeup but the makeup that I like to carry with me in my bag and I just again I feel like I don't need all of this makeup at all times I, I just like the essentials which I fit in here a lot of people have also asked me if a cosmetic pouch would fit in the pochette Matisse and it definitely does as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right in here so as you can see it slides right in there as well so that is really awesome I don't know if you could fit in a full-size wallet or not on top of that you probably could honestly like it really does hold a lot I don't know if then it might be too no I think it would it just like really holds a lot like it's insane but anyway let me just show you some modeling shots of just how this looks on me and my height and my body frame and everything so hold on one second okay so here we are with the bag cross body on me and I do have the setting to be on the longest setting for the strap so I could make this shorter and I am 5'5 five, five or 5'6 five, for anybody wondering and I think it's the perfect you know length on me I love it it's just like really easy to kind of have on the go and I can like, get into it very 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 easily it's just it's just really nice I don't know I just love carrying this bag so this is what it looks like cross body and then obviously I can also carry it like this which I actually do quite a bit too I love over the shoulder bags I think this looks really really great I love carrying it like this and I could like I said shorten it as well right here and I could make it shorter and I think that would kind of you know make it interesting to carry over the shoulder as well but for the most part I'm carrying it hands-free crossbody style and you know that's nice because I do have two little ones and sometimes when I'm in the grocery store they do want me to kind of carry them well the one wants me to carry him he's you know still like 19 months so I'll kind of carry him over here and I'll have the bag right here here's another further back shot love it yeah some close-up detail do you like my Gucci belt I know you guys seen it like a million times but I'm still loving it and here is a close-up shot of the bag okay so that does it for this video as you can probably tell I am totally in love with this bag I'm I love it honestly way more than I thought I would and I knew that I you know I knew that I wanted it for so long but you can't really tell if you're gonna love a bag or just think it's kind of mediocre until you actually buy it so for the last month and a half every single day I'm so thrilled to carry this bag it sounds dumb but I really am and I'm really glad that I purchased it so if you guys are kind of like on the fence about it I highly recommend it I really think you'll be surprised all the things that you can carry in it for it being a crossbody bag like it's really really impressive I really hope this video was helpful to you guys Guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to try and answer them. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!